Hello, hello everyone. Welcome once again to a brand new live stream here on Instagram. I'm trying to trying to incorporate this feature a little bit more as we uh, start pageant season. And today we have a very, very special uh, guest that I'm really, really excited to present to all of you. Uh, because as you guys know, uh, Mr. Supernational is happening in just a few days. The candidates are arriving to Poland as we speak. So I'm really, really happy to have here one of uh, the candidates that is participating for the very first year, um, for the very first time this year, uh, Mr. Supernational Italy 2022. His name is Giuseppe Santagata. And um, today we're gonna be getting to know him a little bit better, who he is as a person, his pageant journey, his hope for the competition, and so many different things as well. So as usual, thank you guys for joining us and for you know the support and the love. If you enjoyed the live stream, please uh, don't forget to share it with a friend so you can send it to your friends and family and people who might be interested in uh, getting to know Giuseppe a little bit better. So I'm just gonna send Giuseppe here a request so that he can join us um, during the live stream. So we're just waiting for him now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Giuseppe, how are you doing? <laughs> Fine, I'm doing good. I'm, doing, I'm so excited <laughs> to have this live. That is my last one before oh, going to Poland. So it's an it's, honor. We're happy to have you. We're matching today. <laughs> we're matching, of course, I see. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have you here. Let me ask you, how are you doing? How's everything? Oh my God, well, first of all, I want to say um, thank you for, for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here because, yes. as I told you, my coach told me that you do really great interviews. And then I saw your interviews and well, I was like, I really want to get alive with him. So here we are. Uh, but yeah, for the rest, oh my God, like I'm really excited because tomorrow I'm going, a few hours actually, because I, yes. it's going to be my flight at half seven tomorrow morning. And now here is four. So, you know, it just hours you must be so nervous how do you feel about that i mean <laughs> oh my god yeah like to be honest i i i still don't know how i feel <laughs> it's like so many emotions now i was having my last uh, training of uh catwalk with my coach yes. and I, I was with the suite for the final and when I, when i finished the the last catwalk i start crying like can you mind? because i think in the six months, you know, I've been through so many things, so many emotions, but I was never like, I never cried. Like I was always like into this so much, but today I understood that the time has, has come, you know? So when I finished the last cut wall, I start crying, you know, all my emotion. I, and, and now I feel good because finally I, I, I took off by my body, all the emotions I had keeping in all these six months, you know? So, yeah. I can only imagine you know, like all of the hard work that you've been putting in the preparation. Yeah. That's something that we're going to talk about, you know, like how much preparation goes into a pageant. Yeah. And it's finally just, you know, like a few hours away, like you're just going to be flying to Poland and then it, it all begins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're sending you positive vibes. You got this. I'm really excited for you. Yeah. And I know that you're going to rock in, in Poland, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so. Giuseppe, please tell us a little bit about you. Who, who are you as a person? Uh, maybe your age. What do you do for a living? Uh, yes. Let us know about you, please. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm 28, year, 28 years old. Uh, I come from, from the south of Italy, from a small town. The name is Alife. It's really small. We basically are like 7,000 people there. Wow. And uh, well, after studying in Rome, our direction, I moved here to Ireland. And, but when I moved here, I, you know, when you move to another country, you just, you need a, a new job to start, you know? Yes. And then I find a new a job as a finance analyst. There is something completely different <laughs> of what I, what I was doing. And now I still work as a finance analyst. I like, but you know, with this, with the supranational, I, I think I start to have again ambitions in what I like. So I think, you know, after I'm going to finish this contest, I'm going to see, I want to start doing new things, you know, yes. uh, in, the, in the arts, you know, so we will see, we will see what's going to happen. 
I love that. We, we have that in common. I actually graduated in something very close to the arts as well. I graduated in communications and film studies. And then okay. I started working at a bank and that's what I'm doing. And I'm okay. always like, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So let me know, please. Um, how did this interest for, for pageantry begin for you? Was it something that you always had in the back of your mind or unexpected? Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be honest because you know my my uh, my boyfriend. He's from Venezuela, and he's actually actually also my uh, director and coach. Uh -huh. And he, I have nine years with him. And you know, Latin people just have beauty pageants in their blood. Yeah. <laughs> so since I met him, like all the time. <laughs> when there was Miss Universe or whatever, you know, it was always like into that, so always showing me all the misses, all this stuff. So I think I start to have this, like from his culture, I start to get this from, from him. And then, but about male PBD budget, I never know about that, to be honest. Yes. Until last year, when I went to Venezuela for the first time, uh, Carlos' mother, she showed me the, some sashes that Carlos won because nine, like 10 years ago, it was, uh, it went to a contest in Spain representing Venezuela. Yes. So I tried the sash that say Mr. Venezuela and his mother was like, oh my God, Giuseppe, I think you, you could do, you could do a, a bit of passion. You look good with a sash. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But I never thought about that. But then a um, few months later, some, some other misologist is, is the way you say, or misosology. Misoso yeah, yeah, a misosologist. Okay, so misosologist <laughs> starts saying, Carlos, Carlos, why don't you send Giuseppe to the supernatural? And Carlos told me, and I was like, well, why not? Because I watched the last year for the first time, the supernatural, and I really like the contest, I really like the message. Uh, also, the way that is different by other maybe the pageant. I see there are really good values in the in this pageant. You know, I really like. Mm -hmm. and, and so I was like, well, why not? Let's try. So you know, we investigate about how to get the franchise and all this thing. So Carlos got the franchise and he designated me as Mister Italy, and here I am. Oh my God! <laughs> it was it meant was, to be. It was meant course. to be. It was a dream of him because he always liked a bit of pageant. He, he actually also used to, he coached some misses. Uh, like two years ago, he coached Miss Universe Italy. So, you know, he, he liked this, this world. And so to get the franchise of Mrs. Supernatural Italy was like a dream for him. And now it became also my dream. So it's something we are working together, you know? Yes, absolutely. Um, I would say because, I mean, he is such a big fan of, uh, of pageantry at the same time and, and he trusted you, like he, he sees the potential in you, of course. Um, do you feel like that adds a little pressure or are you just gonna like enjoy the experience and go with the flow? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I, f I feel more pressure, not, not much for him because he really made me feel really good. And I, as you say, he probably so potential in me. Mm -hmm. And so he, he really trusts in me. He saw I can do a good job and he trained me really well during these six months. So I think the most pressure I can feel is more maybe about people who don't uh, know how beauty passion are, for example, in Italy now, there is not a lot of culture about beauty pageants. Yes. So maybe people, they have like, ah, oh, well, when you go to a beauty pageant, you are like stupid, they would say, you know, because that, <laughs> that's the mentality they have, you know. So that's the more pressure I have. So that's why I want, I want to show them that go, being a beauty pageant is not just how you look. It's more than that. It's connect with the people, give a message to the people. It's not just go to the gym, you know. So that's the most pressure how I want to change their mentality. Yes, exactly. That's a, that's a very ambitious goal, but at the same time, it's something realistic. And you have, I think that you have the charisma, the beauty and everything that it takes, you know, to, to change the perception. Um, this is also the very first time that Italy is going to be uh, participating in Mr. Supernational. Yes. So what are some of the things about Italy that you want the world to know? I feel like Italy is like such... A, a recognized destination all over the world but uh sometimes we only get like the tourist you know things yeah. that we'll talk about but in your opinion what is the essence of, uh, of well Italy? the essence of Italy, i think is that 
I think a, a lot of people, you know, the way the, the way we are. And but also the, the the beautiful thing is that in each part you go, there is always something different, you know. Like uh, for example, from the north to the south, in each town you go, there is a different kind of food, different kind of dialect, different kind of people. So you know, it's it's a really like. I don't know, it, there are so many things in Italy that people don't, people always only think that Italy is pasta, pizza, and people who do this, but no, <laughs> it's not more than that. And we have so much food, you know, we have so much food that there are dishes that I never try in my life, you know, so because it's, there are so many things, so many regions. So yeah, I think uh, it's a beautiful country. I don't want to say, I'm not that kind of person that I'm going to say is the most beautiful country. Because I think each country is beautiful. Each country has its own sp special things, you know. Yeah. But I can say, of course, it's a beautiful country. And I invite everyone to, to visit Italy at least once in, in the lifetime, in the life. I'm going to go book my ticket right now. Right? Yeah, you have, <laughs> when you book, you have to let me know. We are gonna Please. Play. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> Um, let me ask you about your experience so far. I mean, obviously, you have not arrived to Poland just yet, but we we have been seeing some of your photo shoots. We have been seeing your your super challenge as well, your super chat uh, yeah. segment. Which, by the way, congratulations because you definitely you. definitely nailed that. <laughs> How did you feel before you know that interaction with the other boys? Uh, I mean, you mean about the super chat? Yes. Ah, well, uh, well, uh, to be honest, I have been talking to them before the Supra chat through WhatsApp, through Instagram. So I already knew, I already knew them through social media. But to meet them in camera for the first time, well, not all of them, few of them, has yeah. been really nice because it was our first interaction and it was so special, to be honest. Uh, and I really feel a good connection with them. In fact, I really can't wait to, to be there and know all of them because now... I told by camera we were just six, you know, and but I was really happy. Also, I was really happy because um, I get to know, uh, for example, um, Belgium, uh, Czech Republic. There, I was talking uh, to them before, you know, few of them. I was already talking to them. So, you know, to meet them just in camera, have a conversation was really, really special. Really special. Of course. Perfect. Uh, have you had the, the chance to bond with some of them? You know, uh, do you think that when you get to Poland, you're already going to have like your your group of boys that you're going to be hanging out with? <laughs> well, I don't, to, well, first of all, I'm going to write tomorrow. Like the day we have to be all there mm -hmm. is the 4th of July. But I'm going to arrive there on the 3. So I'm going to be in Krakow for one day. Mm -hmm. And I already see that there is Indonesia is there, Nepal is gonna be there. So I'm gonna already meet a few of them tomorrow. We are gonna go for dinner. I really look forward for that. Um, but you know, uh, there are some who have been talking more the most. For example, in France with Pierre, I think it's the one we've been talking <laughs> every day. I really have. He's a really amazing person. I really can't wait to meet him. But I don't know. I don't want to have a group. I hope I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be close to all of them. I really wanna be because each one of them has a good, per a, a different personality, different story, you know. So I, I really look forward to to know all of them. Absolutely, no, I yeah. can definitely agree with you. And especially, you know, when you go to a pageant, as you said, like I feel like sometimes, and even like some of our countries, like I come from Cuba. Uh, yeah. Pageant culture is non-existent in Cuba. It just doesn't exist. Like we don't oh, talk about Cuba, it much. Yes, exactly. Okay, I thought Cuba. what Cuba was, was like in the rest of Latin America, there was... Yeah, but Cuba, because we, because of the communism and all of like the, the politics in the country, okay. they withdrew from, from like the major pageants, uh, like okay. a long time ago in like the 60s. Uh, they don't okay. go to this universe. And then eventually Cuba has been doing a comeback, you know, gradually over the years. But I feel like, like in the island itself, people don't know pageants uh, okay. that much. Uh, so I feel like, you know, especially then I moved to Canada. Canada, you know, we have some pageant culture, but it's not really mainstream. Like people yeah. don't necessarily talk about it that much. Um, so I feel like whenever you said, as you mentioned, that you're going to a pageant or that you support pageants and you enjoy them, people are like, what? Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but yes, yeah, just make you know the most out of the experience. Enjoy bonding with with the boys, getting to know them, and you are gonna be in a place where you're gonna be surrounded by people from all over the world. That's so special. Yes, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you, if I'm not mistaken, you are not only the first Mr. Supernational Italy, um, but you are also the first candidate that is going to be competing during Miss Supernational that is openly gay. Yeah, I read, I read a lot of, about that. that is, I'm the first openly gay. Yes. Uh, and I did some research and I don't know, but yeah, I think that, I, I guess I'm not the first one gay, of course, there, yes, but probably right. the one who's really open and talk okay. about normally, yeah, probably I'm the first. And I'm so honored for that. Okay. And, because first of all, I, I've been, I passed so many years of my life hiding who I was. So, and I'm, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not going to hide myself in this moment that I'm in a contest where I can be an inspiration for, for others, you know. So I have to be myself. And some people were like, yeah, but I sure you want to say you are gay because, you know, sometimes they prefer someone straight. I don't know. Wait, well, maybe they prefer a straight as a Mrs. Branch. I don't know, but I'm not gonna hide myself for like, like I want to be myself, and I wanna make right. the difference. You know, I wanna show, I wanna prove people that no matter your sexual orientation, you you can be <laughs> whoever you want. You know, exactly. Uh, yeah. And you know, I think that that's precisely why for me in the beginning it was a little mind blowing because I'm thinking. How come, like all over, like all, all these years, and like the first one who is openly gay? I think it's it's time, and yeah. I can definitely relate to what you're saying. You know, being gay myself, I'm like, you know, if I, if I was to go to like a pageant or something, I couldn't like pretend or yeah. turn it down just for others. I'd just be yeah. like proud of it, and if they like it, perfect, and if they don't, well, perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure I feel like you know, especially. In, in male pageantry because it's something that it's kind of a booming right now it, it's expanding yeah. it's like a, a lot of people are starting to pay attention to male pageants as well we still have a lot of um of work to do you know in educating people and creating awareness about these topics have you been in a situation where you have received for example like backlash or hate or how do you deal with the attention when people don't appreciate you let's say the, the fatty I'm gay, you mean? Uh, whether it's you're gay or just like your personality, sometimes people just don't like you because, you know, whatever reason. Well, yeah, well, of course, during these six months, um, I receive, to be honest, I receive a lot of love and I'm so honored for that. I'm so happy for that because when you are in a competition like this, the most thing you need is love because when you start to see those negative comments, it, it really hurts you. And to be honest, I received some comments. I still receive some comments on that. And, but you know, at one point you, you just need to deal with, learn how to deal with that. Because when you are, became a public figure, I could say, yeah. you know, you, you will always receive hate. Even if people like you, sometimes they, they just want to, to, to say something bad to you, you know. But I'm gonna tell you something, you know what's the saddest thing? that much of the hate that I see was for, from other gay people. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the thing that hurt me because, you know, I'm always trying to, to, to give a good impression of, of, of gay people in this context. So why I'm receiving hate from, from other gay people, you know? I could expect maybe for a straight, for a homophobic, but why from gay people? Like, I'm like, why? why? So I, but you know, this is the world. We have to get used to everything. Now I learned how to deal with that. At the beginning, it was really hurtful, to be honest, a lot hurtful, but now it's okay. Yeah, it's exactly. Eventually you will create like, a, as you said, like you become immune, like immune to it. Like you don't get affected by it anymore. Yeah. Uh, because at the end of the day, like it's just assumptions. People don't really know you on a personal yeah. level and who you are, what you represent and what you stand for. So, you know, just avoid the noise, just ignore it and focus on your goal. That's the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about male pageants uh i feel like i mean cuba when i think of my country sometimes the first thing that comes to mind in terms of like how men are perceived and like the culture sometimes it can be a little toxic you know we talk about toxic masculinity 
um, for example, something that I, I always remember hearing back in the day in Cuba will be, los hombres no son lindos. Uh, people would say los hombres no son lindos means uh, men are not beautiful, but okay. not in, in, a, in a negative way, but like um, to, to kind of like say beauty is for women and like men shouldn't be celebrated in that way. Okay. How would you like get back to someone who, who has this type of statements, you know? Oh my God. Uh, well, that, that, that would be so weird. I mean, I can understand because also in Italy, Many people have this mentality. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. You know what I will answer to them? That beauty is like of everyone. You know, it's, we have to stop to have this uh, taboo that is just of girl. Because, yeah, of course, one people think that, for example, let's say like a blogger, social media influencer. I know that many people think that's for girls. But no, that, you know, you, you, you always find inspiration also in men, you know. So why we, we only have to think it's just for girls? And to be honest, there is even not much to say to those people because I think that mentality is so close, you know, it's just so close that sometimes you, you even try and they are not going to change the mentality. So, you, you know. No, I agree with you. I think that that's precisely why you know, pageants, especially like this one, male pageants are more important now than ever because we're still dealing with that, you know, um, with those insecurities and those uh, old mentalities that, that men cannot be celebrated, that men cannot yeah. take care of themselves, that yeah. if you are, for example, I don't know, um, investing in yourself or taking care of your body, of your skin or whatever, that that is attached to like fear. Yeah. So I think that these conversations are so important and also people need to to question right what they define as being beauty because yeah. when i think about of a pageant it's not about being like the most beautiful person of that country who goes and represents it's all about like taking care of yourself being beautiful externally and internally and also representing the beauty of your country when yeah. you go to the beauty pageant it's not yeah. just about you it's you not have like an entire uh, country across your chest, right? Yeah, no, and, and also, you know, at the end, as you say, especially the, beauty, the internal beauty, because at the end, everyone has a different taste, you know? I can like, I, I can like to, uh, uh, to everyone, you know? I know that some people can think I'm not beautiful, but because each kind of person has his own perception of beauty. Of beauty. So the, the most important thing, thing when you're a mister or a miss, I think it's just to show how you can connect to the people, what you can give to the people. The, the internal beauty, I think, nowadays is the most important, you know, because especially from the young people that they are dealing a lot with a lot of mental health, depression, because they always see the perfect body on Instagram, everything is, looks perfect, you know. So I think it's really important now, instead of show a beautiful body, to show a beautiful heart. That's the most important thing. Of course. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you, because now that you have this platform, right, uh, representing Italy in Mr. Supernational, of course, there's going to be a lot of people and especially a lot of, um, a lot of guys who will be looking up to you, will see you as an inspiration. Yes. Uh, so what would you say to anyone who is going through a situation where they feel like they are being discriminated, they cannot express themselves fully or just be their most authentic self? Yeah, well, I would, of course, it's maybe we would sound something basic, but you always have to be yourself. Because talking about my experience, as I said before, I've been thinking too much in my life of what other people will say, what other people think. And, I, and there was a point that I just closed into myself. You know, I was not having relationship with people. It was just like I was in my own world because I was afraid of oh, what he will say, what he will say, you know. So you just don't have to, don't have to care about anyone. You have to live your life. We only live once. You have to live your life the way you want, the way we are. And we always have to be proud of everything. I'm proud. Yes. Before I wasn't, before I was trying to, to be someone I was not. But to be honest, nowadays, I'm so proud of who I am. And I, like, I will never change what I am now for anything, anything. And we are proud of you. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
<laughs> now, let me ask you uh, another one of the misconceptions about male pageants and just pageantry in general is that it's all about being beautiful and that you just go there and show your, you know, external beauty. But we know that it takes a lot of work, a lot of training. So yes. what has been the most challenging part of the preparation for the pageant? In your yeah, opinion? well, if First of all, you know, I, I've been, I've been a, a designator in January, so I'm already preparing six months now. And there was a lot of preparation. Well, gym, of course, diet. <laughs> I don't like to do diet because I love, food. I love sweets. So imagine for me, that's been the worst part. <laughs> Then, you know, it's like everything, cut work. You know, my Carlos, my coach, he has been helping me so much and he did a great job. But I think one thing that, I was, I think the most difficult was how to interact with people like, mm -hmm. like we are doing right now, you know, uh, before uh, I was really shy. I, I didn't know I, I could be in a contest, to be honest, but I don't know. We, I think also some, a lot of people help me, you know, the love of the people they see me all the day or many days, all those beautiful messages. They give me a lot of strength. And so, you know, with the time, I learned how to, to talk in the public, to, to talk in front of many people. And that's, but that was the most challenging because I was really, really shy before a lot. <laughs> yeah. I can relate to that as well. <laughs> you, know, you are really confident. I like that. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm like so, so introvert as well. Like I get very anxious before interviews and stuff. Oh yeah. So, Yes, yeah, so I can relate to what you're saying. <laughs> But you know, there's something about you that I really like, and it's like just how natural and effortless you are. Maybe because you're a little bit of an introvert as well. Like you don't really try like to seem a particular way. Like you're just very natural. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're very charismatic. It's very you know likable, and I, and I've seen how you know you have been embraced by the pageant community. I've seen you like in so many different. Uh, lives and interview and people just love to to hear from you yeah so just keep up that that amazing work I uh, think. <laughs> so what can you tell us in terms of the the pasarela what is the secret for like the male walk i'm i'm not so convinced yet i don't know like how to approach that <laughs> well it's so i think it's all about feel confident you know just think that you are the best in that moment, you know, like you Superman, are... Superman, come on. <laughs> you, uh, that you are, I don't know, you are like a god, you know, you just have to... <laughs> in that moment, that's the thing. Yeah. And that's nice, to be honest. That, that to be honest, also the pasarela, it, it can sound stupid, but that also helps you a lot with, the, with your confidence. Because I think when you, when you learn how to walk, how to, your posture and everything, you, you feel sometimes more sure about yourself, more confident. So that helped me a lot too, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I know that um, for a lot of people, like it seems like pasarela is something that it's, you know, just like a walk or is it like a model walk? But as you said, I feel like it needs to embody the, the confidence and the message that you want to, yeah. to bring to the competition as well. Right? Yeah, it's also what you want to express because if you see each, each kind of mister has uh, his own way to do it, you know? Uh, but when you will see my pasarela, you will see, uh, I like to smile. I always smile. That's the, the I think it's my signature. I always smile all the time. So I will smile a lot because that's what represents me the most, you know? So, but each, as I say, each kind of mister or miss has his own sign, signature. So you always see a different kind of pasarela. So you, it always depends about your personality also. Yeah. Who would be like one one previous mister that you look up to, let's say? Well, uh, to be honest, the first uh, male pageant that I saw was last year when Maro Arga born. Thanks. So <laughs> it's on this, he's like really special for me because first of all, I will meet him now, you know, in a few days. So uh, I think he always he always been in my heart. He's, he's a special one because after seeing him, I start to like the supernatural, you know, so I always look at him. And what I like of him is that he really connect with the people. And that's, that's what important. That's because like there are, you know, like beauty pageants is like football, you know, 
there is the busy budget and then there are the fun, the people who like busy budget. And, and why you have to be a Mr. or a Miss that you, you're, you're just there, you post speech and whatever, but then you don't interact with your fan. You know, I don't like that. So that's what I like of Varo, that he interacts a lot with the fan. And that's really important because at the end of the day, all those people, they spend a lot of time to make beautiful posts to you, to send you beautiful messages. Why you don't have to be grateful to them? It, it don't interact to them. So that's really important for me. That's why I like him and he's my inspiration. Absolutely. That's one of the things that, that I really love about Baro as well. As you said, like uh, for me last year was also my first year, let's say like following the, the male pageant. Like before of that, like, like I have watched some videos, but it was the first year that I was actually, you know, following it. And the, the thing that really comes to mind when I think of his reign particularly is you know, how open to just like everything Barrow was. I've seen him uh, do interviews and lives and interact with different people, but he stands for like uh, male causes. He, he has spoken about a uh, women's right. I've seen him yeah. doing interactions with LGBTQ members. Yes. And it's just like, you know, it's, it's someone who is there for the people and not just for one thing. I, I feel like that's so, so important, right? Yes. Um, so... I mean, I, I feel like you also embody that. So just, you know, keep it up. Keep your essence, most yeah. importantly. Yeah. And you got this in the bag. <laughs> now, beauty pageants are also uh, a huge platform to, to push for your advocacy, for the things that you would like, you know, the, the social causes that you would like to, to highlight in society. So can you please tell us a little bit about your work and your social cause, please? Yeah, well, um... To be honest, what I understood during this this month is that when you are a public figure, you have that power to to connect with many people. You know, many people are looking at you. So yeah. I really want to use this platform because, to be honest, the, the supernatural is a really big platform. Many people follow that. I didn't realize before. I just realized it now. And so one of I, I don't know if you, if you saw, but for example, I, I many times I talk about Ukraine because, for example. When the war started in Ukraine, the first month, everyone was talking about that. But now, no one is talking about what's happening there. And the war is still there. A few weeks ago, there was, no, a few, so a few days ago, you still they are sending bombs on, on some cities. So, you know, I understood that I want to be someone who can remind people that things are happening in the world. So uh, I want to be, be someone who can spread a message, spread the news, because I don't want to be someone or just to publicize clothes or whatever. I, I want to use this platform to to give awareness to the people. And, yeah. and to be honest, I want to, I would, I would like to do that in many ways. Not, I just, I don't want to focus on one thing. I would like to focus, for example, the war in Ukraine. Uh, there are so many things, for example, my From the Ground Up project is about uh, the environment. So I, sometimes I also talk a lot about the environment. Uh, it can be also about, uh, you know, everything that is happening in the world. I don't want to also, I don't want only to have one single message because sometimes I see some people just focus on one thing, but I want really use this platform to, to use to more, more than one thing. Also, I really wish to, to win because one of my dreams, if I win, I would like to go to, for example, in, in, in some countries in Africa, you know, and I would, I would love to do vol volunteer. I could do it now, yeah. but I think when you, when you have it behind your back, like as, an organization like the Supranational, you can do the things bigger, you know? Yeah. So that's why I would, I would love to win also to, to do, I, I really want to do good things. <laughs> To be honest, I, I get so into this contest that I really feel I have so many ambitions to do with the contest. You know, I want to do so many. Yeah. I have so many things in my mind that I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that. I love the enthusiasm that you have when it comes to. Yeah, to I all think of I have <laughs> the best last day. I'm like really energetic about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really love that. Um, let me ask you, Giuseppe. So, you know, because as we were saying, being part of the pageant is something that it will bring a lot of visibility to you, especially if you win the title, you know, like a lot of people will be following you for, for the, for, for how long your reign lasts for one year. Um, 
and you will have the opportunities to travel to different countries, work with different organizations, and all of that visibility that will come to you, it's kind of an excuse for, for you to be able to push something bigger, like a, a bigger cause. Um, how would you say is the best way, for example, that people like uh, members of the audience, uh, viewers like myself or anyone watching us right now can help you push forward your advocacies and the things that you stand for? Uh, sorry, can you can you repeat? Like, yeah. So, so how can we um, help you push further your advocacy and, and the message that you want to spread? Uh, well, uh, how how the public? Well, uh, first of all, I think the most help has to come from me because if I connect with the people and the people find that connection, of course, they can be with this connection. We can work together. You know. Yeah. So, so that's the most important thing. I, I hope, I really hope that I can reach many people as I can, because it's not it's not only about you guys or only me. It's something we can do together. So definitely, I hope uh, that if I win, uh, I, we have this connection that I already have. To be honest, with many people, but if we are more, is better. We can spread the message more. You know, the more we are, the best it is. You know. Absolutely. Um, what do you think is, I will say, like the main characteristic, the number one thing that a Mr. Supernational should have? As I said before, is the your heart. That's that's the most important thing. You have to be, you know, you have to be a person that people can can be related to. You have to be a person who, first of all, is kind. Kindness is the key. Always being kind. And you have to be a person that you can connect, uh, the people can see an inspiration, but especially the people can see the reflection. It doesn't have to be someone that is like a superstar, like someone, oh my God, I wish to be like him. No, it has to be someone like me, you know, that I say, oh, but he's just like me, you know, he's a normal person, he has dreams, he has pain, you know, so that that's the most important thing. But as you have a platform uh, in your hands, of course you can help those people maybe going through dif difficult situation that you already been in my life, in your life. I've been through many things in my life, you know. Uh, for me, coming out has been difficult. So I wanna help people also in situation I've been, I've been going through in my life. Okay. Thank you so much for, for uh, I'm actually taking notes because I wanna compete. I don't know if next yeah. year, <laughs> Of I want to go. <laughs> well, actually, uh, the, like from this year, Cuba is is competing in the Miss yeah. Supernatural. So exactly. next year, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if, if I'll go for Cuba or Canada because I saw the Cuban boys and I'm like, I don't stand the chance. I don't stand oh. the chance with the Cubans. <laughs> Come on. And actually, you, you remind me, you uh, you remind <laughs> the of the guy who's going this year. Oh, oh thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the smile is really something you have really. Seen. Yeah, uh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, my friend, just before we go towards the end of the interview, of course, um, I wanted to ask you. I feel like this is like kind of a stereotypical pageant question, but I want you to answer, you know, as as honest and uh, and authentic as you possibly can, okay. and that will be to tell me uh, what do you think you should be the next Mister Supernational. So you just told me some of the characteristics that they have and the things that they need to, to consider, right? But why should you be that person? Yeah, okay. Um, first of all, I think it's difficult because, you know, I think we all go there with the same goal. And, you know, I think everyone deserves this because each one of us is going through a preparation. But, you know, if I had to talk about myself, of course, I can say that I've been really working hard on this dream for for a while and i really get into that i've been doing social causes i've been doing many things that i hope the organization will appreciate you know uh, but the most important thing and I, we already talked about this during the interview but it's something that many people told me is that they like the way i'm connecting with the people so i think that i should be mr supernational because because yeah, I, I like connect with the people, and I think that that's why people are li many people are liking me, and and to be honest, I I also like because I'm a person who really likes to be loved, 
and I received so much love. I received the hate also, but <laughs> I don't care. But I received so much love, and I, I, I'm so happy for that. And I hope I can give this love back to all the people, you know? Yes, exactly. What would you say is the biggest difference, I would say, between um, Giuseppe maybe like a year ago yeah. and Giuseppe today, just right before the competition? How have you yeah. changed within that time frame? Wow, a lot, to be honest, a lot. This, this contest made me grow personally so much. And as I told you, I have, I have much more confidence right now. And like, I don't know, in many things I see, I, 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 I'm really different, really different. I, before I was more close, but not in the way that I didn't have friends or whatever, because, you know, uh, I'm always have been a really so sociable person, but now I feel more like sure to, to have a conversation with someone, to, uh, to speak about many different things, you know, before I was more like, I don't know, just shy, you know, but now I, when I have a conversation with, 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 with whatever person, I know how to, to deal with conversation more uh, because I've been reading a lot. Now I also read a lot news. I don't want to say before I didn't, but now I'm really getting to that because uh, for the preparation, you know, when you are a mister, you also have to know what's happening around you. And, and I like that. I, I just discovered that I really love really knowing about the world. Before I was like, I don't know, like we all focus on the same thing, the same passion, but we don't know, we don't focus about many other things. For example, before uh, I was not caring a lot let's say about the environment, but now since I have my project for the, from the ground up and I start to read more, I, you know, I have more news, I have no more knowledge. So, so yeah, I think he, this experience helped me so many things, growing so many things. I'm completely different, but like if you see me one year ago, I'm a different person, but I'm always me, always yes. me, of just course. more confident and yeah. An even better version of yourself. <laughs> Better version. Always myself, because I will never change. Just, as you say, better version, yes. Yes, exactly. Well, I mean, what can I tell you? I feel like I speak on behalf of at least um, the panel of judges for the, the Super Chat. We all loved you. Um, the audience loves you as well. And you're doing so amazing. So my only wish for you is that you keep up, you know, your essence, that you stay true to yourself. Enjoy the journey. Yes. And, you know, don't, don't forget to like make, you know, memories and just uh, enjoy the entire process. Um, <laughs> we are sending you, you know, like the best wishes always. And please, uh, if there's any way that we can support you, let us know. Like, how okay. is it going to be like, is there like a voting system? I know that it, that's happening for, for Super Chat, but later on, but do you have any news? That, because I think now the winner of each group of the Super Chat, mm -hmm. I think we are going to have a final there. I think we are going to be like 14. So we're going to have an interview there in person. And I think from then they're gonna have to decide one winner for that is gonna go uh, automatically to the top ten. So yes. don't forget, guys, vote for me. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. And everyone, please go ahead and follow Giuseppe as well, so that you can follow his journey and support him as well with all of the upcoming projects. Yeah. And uh, well, thank you so much, Giuseppe, for for being here, for sharing some of your time. I know that. You know, right now your time is precious since you're yeah. just like a few hours away, but we really, really do appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, oh, I appreciate you a lot. You made me feel really comfortable. I knew that the, this interview would be, would be like this because I already watched you know, the interview. So it's like talking with a friend. I yes. hope I will meet you one day. Uh, Please, let's I do it. Italy, <laughs> Italy or Cuba, Cuba, I want to go to Cuba. Uh, yes, I hope I, I, can, have, I, I can give you a a real hug, not only a virtual one. Let's make it happen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so All right, me. my friend. Sending you the biggest hug. Take care and best of luck. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Te mando un abrazo. Un abrazote. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao.